Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to go ahead and talk about some crucial tips and strategies that I have learned to help me super glide consistently. It's been over two months since I made my last super glide video and I have learned a lot of different techniques and different ways to learn the timing to super glide. In this video I'm going to teach you those ways so you can learn how to consistently super glide and I'm also going to teach you how to backward super glide with any character. Alright, let's go ahead and get right into the video. Before we get started, I do want to remind you guys this is a second part video. I made another super glide video that I just showed earlier. You should go ahead and watch that one first and then come to this one. This one's going to teach you some extra techniques so you can super glide consistently. All right, let's get started. All right, the first huge misconception with super glide that you must practice to make your super glides consistently is pressing your jump and then crouch right after. Many people believe, and even super glide videos that I see to this day, say press your jump and crouch at the same time. And this is not true. You want to make sure that your jump is first and then your crouch is right after. So you can see me here, I'm just jumping and then pressing crouch right after. I'm just practicing that. I'm practicing that muscle memory. And this is why many players that play on PC or on mouse and keyboard, they turn their C, which is their crouch, um, backwards on their keyboard so you can hit it after your jump. Unfortunately, we cannot do that on console with our controller, so you just have to practice the jump pressing, which I'm doing right now. All right, I'm going to go ahead and show you guys a different strategy to help with the timing. So one of the things about that's hard about the super glide is when do you press A and when do you press crouch? Well, I should say when do you press jump and then when do you press crouch? You know, we cannot flip our C around, so we got to learn the timing here on console. And this is how you learn it. So you want to go ahead and go up to a wall and mantle. And after the end of the mantle, you want to press jump. Just practice that. And it should look something like this. If you don't, if you press it too early, you're just going to jump off the wall. And that means you're pressing it too early. So you want to press it at the end of a mantle. All right. Once you got the A button right, when do you press crouch? I'm going to show you. You press crouch on the edge slide timing. I repeat, you press crouch on the edge slide timing. Once you're able to learn how to edge slide, which I also made a video on that, it's basically you going up to a wall, you're mantling, and after you're done mantling, you hold forward, and then you press your crouch button and you will slide, prepare you going forward. Once you got the edge slide timing, you have all the components to super glide. All you gotta do is put them together. You're going to press jump on the jumping timing, and you're going to press crouch on the edge slide timing. And once you got that muscle memory down, your buttons are pressing it at those rhythms, you will be able to super glide. All right, once you got the muscle memory down to press jump and then crouch right after, which it took me a while because when I first learned super gliding, it, they told me to do both at the same time, and that was like ingrained in my muscle memory, but they're not. They're slightly off, so you want to press jump and then crouch. But once you got that muscle memory down, you want to go ahead and work on the timing. And the timing is the hardest part, but I have figured out a way that helped me with the timing, and hopefully it can help you with the timing. So this is the strategy number one. So one thing that I notice is that when you mantle and you try to move your camera all the way to the left or to the right, doesn't matter, to spin around you won't be able to until the mantle is done and that's the point of a super glide you're supposed to press jump and then crouch right after your mantle is done like specifically one frame right when the mantle is done and it's hard to get that timing right but if i spin and i realize when the timing is done because i can spin continue spinning this helped me memorize the timing so I would just mantle and then spin around, and then when I wasn't when I wasn't locked into the animation, I could continue spinning. I knew that's the timing when I should press it, and that helped me a lot with consistent super gliding. So hopefully that helps you as well. You can use this strategy on anything on any wall. So you can see me here. I'm doing it on a longer wall. I'm checking the timing by trying to spin and seeing when I'm out of the animation lock, and then learning the timing so I can super glide. It's a great strategy. I would recommend it. Give it a shot. Hopefully that will help you with the timing. All right, now that you can consistently super glide, don't forget that you can super glide in all directions. To do the basic one, all you have to do is hold forward and then super glide. 
to do the left and right ones all you have to do is once you're finishing mantling you press your jump and crouch but you're also holding left or right depending on what direction you want to go to do the backwards super glide the it's kind of not really backwards but it's the closest thing is you want to go ahead and hold down right or down left and also turn your camera I go over it in a lot of details in my super glide video that I made first so go ahead and check that out if you want to learn that in more detail all right the last thing that I want to go ahead and talk about is I figured out a different way you can backwards super glide I noticed that on certain ledges depending on how tall they are you're able to mantle at a different angle like you don't have to be directly facing the wall you can mantle at a I want to say what 30 degree angle of looking at the wall and this will allow you to super glide backwards and it looks something like this and it can look really crazy too when you do it on smaller objects all right to go ahead and do this new backwards super glide you want to go ahead and go to a small object it doesn't work on big objects and then you want to look at that object at a 30 degree angle and then you'll be able to mantle it once you're done mantling you're going to go ahead and super glide and hold backwards just hold s or backwards on your analog stick and this will allow you to backwards super glide all right guys that's the end of the video definitely if you follow these tips and tricks on how to super glide you'll definitely consistently super glide more they helped me a lot in these past two months i want to thank you guys for the love and support that you guys gave me in my last video i super appreciate it and here's the giveaway winner i'm going to go ahead and message you if you can message me too and i'll go ahead and send you those apex coins if you like this video Want to learn more tips on how to super glide and do other movement stuff? Please like, comment, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace!